In this screencast, we'll look at how to set up channels in Acknowledge version 4.0 and above. First, we'll do a quick introduction to the Setup Channels menu. Then, we'll look at how to set up standard 100C series wired amplifiers. Next, we'll look at Bionomatics wireless amplifiers. Then, I'll give you an example of setting up a specialty amplifier. Finally, I'll give you links on where you can find more information. Once we open Acknowledge, we can take a look at where the Setup Channels menu is located. To do this, we're going to go to the MP150 menu at the top of the page, click on it, and select the first option, which is Set Up Channels. When we click on Set Up Channels, you'll see the tabs for Analog, Digital, and Calculation Channels. Let's do this now for our Wired, Wireless, and Specialty Amplifiers. First, we'll cover the Wired 100 C-Series Amplifiers. Examples of these include both biopotential and transducer amplifiers listed below. Here you can see our MP150 system with the wired, wireless, and specialty amplifiers shown. First, we're going to focus on the wired amplifiers, so I'm going to take away our wireless bionomatics and specialty amplifiers. For the wired amplifiers, we're going to be using the ECG100C and GSR100C series amplifiers. The first thing we're going to do to set up our amplifiers is to look at the channel dial switches located on the top of the amplifier. You'll see here you have a selectable switch from 1 to 16. These switches represent the analog input channels of the MP150. Now what we want to do is select a channel for each of the amplifiers. I'm going to put the ECG100C amplifier on channel 1. I'm going to put the GSR100C amplifier on channel 2. Now what you want to do is make sure that each amplifier is on its own separate channel. You cannot have more than one amplifier with the same analog channel or the data will not be recorded correctly in Acknowledge. Now let's connect these amplifiers to the MP150 system. Now that we've selected our channels on the top of the amplifier, we can go into the Acknowledge software, go to the MP150 menu, and select Set Up Channels. Next, what we'll do is click on Add New Module. Then, we'll find our first amplifier, the ECG100C, from the list and click on Add. Now, we'll be prompted with a dialog box that shows us a picture of that red channel switch from the top of the amplifier. We want to make sure that we put the channel from the top of the amplifier to be the same as this dial switch in the software, which in this case is correct, channel 1 for the ECG. We'll click on OK. Next, you'll see a configuration box that shows the same settings that are on the face of the ECG100C amplifier, including the gain, mode, and then the filtering settings. Now again, what we want to do is make sure that what we put on this dialog box is the same as what's on the face of the amplifier. So whatever settings we choose to have for our ECG in terms of gain, mode, and filtering, we'll make sure those match, and then we'll click on OK. Now we can label the channel, so we could say ECG for subject 1, and now this channel is ready for recording. Next, we'll set up our GSR100C amplifier. To do this, we again click on the Add New Module button and find the GSR100C on our list and click on Add. Again, we'll get that red channel selector and for the GSR, we've chosen channel 2, so we can just slide that to channel 2 so this again matches the setting on the top of the amplifier and click OK. Now again, we'll be prompted with that same type of dialog box that shows the gain, and then the filter settings for the GSR. We again want to make sure that the low pass and high pass options match on this dialog box and the front of the amplifier. We're going to record both of our high pass filters in DC mode, which basically means we are not going to high pass filter the data. This is going to allow you to record raw GSR data and later filter it using the GSR analysis tools. We'll click on OK, and now there's a quick GSR calibration and what you'll do is you'll plug your electrodes into the front of the amplifier, but you won't hook them up to your subject, and you'll click on Calibrate. Now your amplifier is ready for use, and again, you can label it whatever title you'd like. 
Now let's look at Bionomatics wireless modules. Examples of Bionomatics amplifiers include the biopotential, transducer, combination, and specialty amplifiers listed below. Now let's look at how to add a wireless Bionomatics amplifier. As you can see in the video displayed here, we have the Bionomatics RSP EC amplifier and transmitter. This amplifier is for recording respiration and ECG. Here is the transmitter that goes along with it. Let's attach that now to the MP150 system. The Bionomatics amplifiers go between the MP150 and the UIM100C module. Now that we've got the Bionomatics amplifier hooked up to the MP150, you'll see there's an amber status light blinking on the front of the amplifier. If we take the transmitter and turn it on, you'll see it will begin to blink with a green light that will then change the light on the front of the amplifier to a solid green indicating that the two are paired together. Now we can go into the software and add the RSP EC module. Again we'll do this by clicking add new module and then we'll select from the list the RSP EC module and click on add. When we click on add we're given a dialog box that again shows the settings that are on the front of the amplifier. In this case, we have the channel numbers, and then we can turn each signal, the respiration and ECG, on or off. You'll also see the additional XY buttons under each signal, which corresponds to the channels that are listed on the front of the amplifier in two columns. The X and Y allow us to take advantage of every analog channel on the MP150 system. Now, remember that we already have the ECG amplifier on channel one, and the GSR amplifier on channel 2. So for the respiration signal, we'll have to pick channel 3, which is the respiration. We're going to have it on, and it's using the X coordinates, this first set of numbers. We're going to make sure that matches. Now we'll do the same thing for the ECG signal. We can use channel 9 because we currently don't have anything on that channel. Make sure it's turned on, and select X because we're using X for channel 9. Again, we'll make sure this matches on the front of the amplifier and click on OK. Now we get a dialog box that shows a picture of the transmitter and tells us to make sure that we're seeing the green indicator light both on the transmitter and on the amplifier. We're seeing that, so we'll click on OK. Again, we can type in a label for the channel and we're ready to record. Finally, let's look at specialty amplifiers. Below are some examples of specialty amplifiers, including the NICO and EBI for cardiac output, the LDF100C, the OXY100E, which is what we'll take a look at, the MCE100C, and the O2 and CO2100C modules. Here we have the OXY100E amplifier. You'll see on the front we have channels A and B and channels C and D listed with channel numbers basically like XY coordinates on our bionomatics for each. So we can set channel A, channel B, channel C, and channel D with these two switches. Additionally, we can turn channels A, B, C, and D on or off depending on our experiment. Let's go ahead and attach this amplifier to the MP150 system. Like the bionomatics, it goes between the MP150 and the UIM100C. Now you can see the OXY100E is connected to the MP150 system. Let's add it again by using the Add New Module button. We'll scroll down and select the OXY100E and click on Add. Again, we'll get the dialog box that matches the front of the amplifier. First, we'll set up channels A and B. We're already using channels 1, 2, 3, and 9 with our amplifiers. So we have to keep that in mind when we choose our channels. So for channels A and B, I'm going to select 4 and 8 because those channels are not being used. Likewise, for channels C and D, I'm going to select 10 and 14 as we're already using channel 9 on the Bionomatics amplifier. Let's go ahead and make sure that the channels match on the front of the amplifier. This one set to 4 and 8, and this one will set to 10 and 14. Now we can configure whether we want all of these channels on or off. I'm going to put them all on and verify that they're all on on the front of the amplifier and click on OK. We can again 
type in a label for the channel, and we're ready to record. If you look down here at the bottom of the Setup Channels box, you'll see an Occupied Channels message. And this is showing that we're currently using 8 of the 16 channels on the MP150. We can now close out or we can save these settings as a graph template, which is what I will do now. To do this, we click on Save as Graph Template, and we'll be prompted with the location we'd like to save it. I'm going to save to the desktop as Experiment 2 and click on Save. And what this will do is that once it saves a template file, it will save all of our channel settings so that later we can launch it and not have to re-enter all of our channel and amplifier information. For more information on how to set up channels for your experiment, you can read the Acknowledge tutorial which is accessible from the Help menu in Acknowledge and also from the Startup Wizard by clicking the Help button. You can watch additional Acknowledge software tutorials on the Biopack website at www.biopack.com slash videos.asp. You can also contact us at support at biopack.com or call us at 805-685-0066. Be sure to also ask us how to upgrade your system to the latest Acknowledge release today.